Coach, start by talking about our five-run fourth inning in game one. Is that one of the best innings you've seen yeah, all best year? Best inning. Well, I mean, we did a lot of good things. We got a, got a five-run cushion and, and went back out and gave up five the next half. So uh, did a lot of good things offensively. Uh, good approaches, good swings, ran the bases well, executed well. Um, and then, like I said, then we go back out the next half and, and we let them right back in the game. And, Made a couple mistakes and, and they capitalized with the ball, you know, basically right down the left field line when they had the bases loaded, scored three runs. So uh, I, I thought we, we regrouped after that, but we gave up another one and, and uh, just never really ever were able to get the things going offensively again like we had in order in the game. You talk about Lucor's performance in game two, shut you guys down pretty well. We've, we've made a lot of people look good pitching wise. He's he struggled this year. He's was one of our guys. You know, in the past, um, he's got a decent arm, but they, I, the Williams guy is the guy. Is, is the guy. He's he's got a lot of confidence now. He's pounding the strike zone. And he's he's throwing extremely well for them. So um, yeah, they got a good club. You know, they got good arms on the front end. They got good arms on the back end. And they do just enough offensively to be able to, to be able to. Do what they need to do, and, and uh, you know, they, they've got a pretty good club. Um, Coach, this fall was short the last two games. Um, near the end of the uh, second game, it seems as if your team didn't give up and they were able to put the points on the board. What do you take from that moment? Well, I, again, it's it's frustrating from the standpoint that, that I see that our guys are continuing to compete. You know, we, we've, we've been competitive in just about every game we've played this year. The, the issue is we just haven't been good enough on the back end of our bullpen. We haven't been good enough with our infield defense. We haven't been good enough in the box offensively. We haven't been good enough running the bases. Um, and then our starting pitching has been all right at times, but then other times it's, it's kind of let us down. So it's a different thing. It seems like every game there's something different that ends up happening. Uh, in the first game, I thought we pitched pretty well, but we didn't play very good defense on the infield. I thought we swung the bats well, but then once we got back tied, we kind of started pressing it a little bit. So uh, we're going to continue to compete, continue to try to make adjustments, and, and uh, at some point we're going to, going to get moving in the right direction. Coach, going back to that big ending, big ending in game one, looks like the freshman really got the wheels turning for you guys yeah. there. I mean, again, we got guys that are going to be good players. We just need more of them. <laughs> we're working on doing that. Got some some issues with our roster at this level of competition that we've got to we've got to do a better job of coaching our guys, we've got to do a better job recruiting, we've got to do a better job developing the guys that we got, and we got to get a you know, more influx of guys that have conference USA level ability. We, just, we don't have enough guys right now that have conference USA level ability, and and we're going to get there, and we're going to keep working with the guys that we've got in our roster right now, try to get them better. Double headers. We played three <laughs> Saturdays in a row. Any advantage or disadvantage? Both teams uh, still have honestly, to play. Honestly, I, I think I think for for us it's a disadvantage to play double headers because we really need the preparation. We need to be able to to try to manage and manipulate the, the lineups and the situations as much as we can from a coaching standpoint, and and it just kind of runs one right into the other and. And you saw, that, you know, I mean, we were ready to play. Our guys get out there, they get warmed up the second game, and boom, boom, we make two mistakes that we would not normally make early in the game. And it's, you know, two young guys that, that misplayed a couple balls, and, and uh, you know, that, that's going to happen at times. So uh, I'm really concerned about a couple guys getting worn down. We're really asking a lot of Brett Lang. I mean, he's worked his tail off defensively, done a great job blocking, done a great job calling the game. Uh, but but he's he he gets worn down too in his double headers and, and uh, you know, I think it really has a negative effect on his offensive ability. But, uh, again, we got we got to keep working. Our guys are in great shape. Donnie Smith, our strength guy, does a great job with them. They're in great shape and they're strong. It's just a matter of you know getting in that pregame routine and, and being able to be able to play. Uh, but I think it's the right thing to do playing a double header. The, the, the goal is to get all three games in every weekend. And with the forecast the way it is tomorrow, I think today was, was the right thing to do to play too. You have at Winthrop on Tuesday and back here against Asheville on Wednesday. How do you get, get get the guys ready for those two games coming up? Well, they're going to have tomorrow off because it's going to rain. So they get a chance to maybe um, let their brains rest a little bit, let their bodies rest a little bit. And then Monday's our, our off day, and plus we got pre-registration on Monday, some academic issues we got to deal with. So 
Uh, Tuesday will be the first time we get back on the field again. I hope you know the, the weather forecast looks a little iffy uh, for, for Tuesday. And then we play again on Wednesday, and then we leave Thursday to go to Old Dominion, and then uh, play there this weekend. So just got to you know, try to figure out a way to make some adjustments as quickly as we can. Good. Thank you. Good. All right, guys. Thank you.